Hello, my name is Wendy and welcome back to another video. My husband Emil and I recently moved from the UK to Tokyo in Japan. In a country prone to natural disasters like earthquakes and tsunamis, being prepared can make all the difference. We have made ourselves a disaster preparedness emergency bag and in this video I'll be showing you what we have in these bags. Here next to me we have the two uh, disaster preparedness emergency bags that we have created. So we have a red and a blue one. Uh, the red one has a few more things. Uh, basically these are things that we didn't need two of. So if we are here together and something happens and we both need to leave, we take one each. But if one of us is here alone, uh, we will take the red one because the red one has those few extra items in it. I'll be showing you all the items in the red one today and I'll also let you know which one of them we only have one of. The reason that there are some items we only have one of is just to both save money creating these bags but also save a bit of extra space so this one has a little bit extra water in it. So I'll also let you know where I got most of this stuff from. Uh, a lot of it is from Amazon Japan. And for any of the items that I did buy online, I will link it down in the description below. When looking online to try and find out what to put in these bags, there are so many different lists uh, and different type of items you can put in there. So I've mixed from a few different lists that I found and essentially selected all the things that I thought would be most important. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the helmet. This is not something we keep in the bag, but next to it. Um, we have, as you can see, there's a W on this one. It's also written inside. The reason for that is that we've already set this for how, like our size and how we how we like it. So it's ready to go and we don't need to, to do anything. So I know that this one is the one that I have uh, adjusted. So essentially you just put it on. You can adjust it in the back and then there's a strap I can close it, there you go. And then you are protected for anything falling outside. So these helmets are from Amazon Japan. I've taken the things out of the red bag and I'm going to be putting it back inside to show how I pack it. And at the same time, we're gonna go through each of the things. So one of the things that we have is food. So we have these little bags. Um, they are rice bags. So these are actually um, disaster preparedness food bags. So um, we bought these on Amazon. So I believe there were 10 of them, which if you eat three a day, that would be for a little over three days. So you need to add water to them. So I have one here, but um, there are already a few. The rest of them are already in here. So I lay them flat on the bottom. So the next thing is a rain jacket. So this is actually like a poncho uh, rain jacket and it does have uh, something to cover your legs as well. So I'm not going to unpack it in case I can't get it back inside as flat, but um, I am going to insert a photo from Amazon just to show what it looks like. So in the bag here, there is a little pocket here along that makes it sit along the back of this backpack. Another thing that goes in there is a towel. So we just got these small uh, microfiber towels. Um, it comes in a little pouch. They don't take up much space. So that towel is from Amazon as well. And then we got the dictionary. So there's a possibility that we wouldn't have any network if a bad earthquake strike. So this could help us communicate. This is one of the things that we only got one of. Uh, so that goes in the red bag. So then we got a blanket as well to keep warm. Uh, this one uh, looks a little bit like a sleeping bag. It comes in a similar uh, pouch for it. It's actually quite big. It's 200 times uh, 150 centimeters, and it does have like a warm lining on the inside. Then we bought a small first aid kit. So this one is from Amazon as well. This one is one of the things, again, that we only have one of, which is why it goes in the red bag. So we then have a few more of these uh, first aid uh, aluminium blankets. So we got this on Amazon and it's uh, it was a set of three. So two of them are in the red bag and one of them is in the blue bag.
Then we have uh, water bottles. So these are from Amazon. We bought uh, 24 in a pack. Uh, we actually bought two packs because it's good to have some uh, in the house as well. It's not just how many are in the bags, but we do have some in the cupboard here in case uh, we'll need to stay in the apartment. So there are five altogether in the red bag with the ones on the side. And in the blue bag, we have two more than that. In case we do need to use our phone, then um, we do have a charger. So we just got the USB char USB-C charger because that's what both our phones use. We do also have a power bank. So this is a, this is actually an older one that I have that I decided to, to keep in here. I only use it when I travel, so then I can take it out of uh, out of this bag and use it for travel. But otherwise it stays in here. This one is fairly big. I think it can charge my phone like five or six times. Um, so I just keep this fully charged and in this bag. Emil does have one as well. And we of course keep that one in the other bag. We then have a few hygiene things. We have a mouthwash. Um, so this is just a small one just to keep our mouth clean. We also have, in case we have access to water, then we have a little toothbrush and toothpaste uh, set. Then we have some wet wipes. So these ones are the antibacterial ones that you can use for your hands before eating. So these three things are from our nearby supermarket. Next thing we have is the radio. So it's recommended to have a little radio um, just to listen out for any news. Again, this is useful if you don't have any network on your phone. So I keep it inside this little bubble wrap pouch that it came in and I keep one of the batteries on the side. So um, the other two batteries are already in there, but one on the side. The main reason for that is because the, it was showing the time uh, constantly and I didn't even when it was off and I didn't want it to run out and then when you needed it um, you would have to change batteries so instead I'll just keep one on the side so that it stays off. So one thing I don't know if I mentioned but the radio again is a thing that we only have one of so it, that's why it's in the red bag. Then we have a torch so this is just a small one. So this came as a two set from Amazon so there's one in each bag. We have the batteries already in there and ready to go. Then we have some spare batteries. There are spare batteries in both the bags, but um, the one in the red one uh, has a bit more because it has for the radio. So these are batteries for the radio and the torch. Then the last thing I have to show you is a whistle. So it was recommended to have a whistle in case you're stuck somewhere, you need to call out for someone. Um, so yeah, both bags have a little whistle. This actually came in a, a pack of three from Amazon, so we have a spare one. So the few things that I have in here that I haven't showed you are some things like feminine hygiene products. We also have a couple of underwears in here. If you have any medication, that's also something that would be good to store in here. So far, we just have a small pack of ibuprofen in there. So a few other things that are good to store in here are either your important documents, for example, passport, or at least a copy of it, and potentially any bank information that you may need. It's also good to keep some cash in there. And one thing I've noticed that I have completely forgotten to talk about is actually the bag itself. So these are from Amazon as well. So um, yeah, they were actually quite affordable and they're really nice and spacious. They're also quite soft on the inside of the handles. So they are a bit heavy, especially since there's water in here, uh, but it clicks in the front. Um, so yeah, they sit pretty well once you have them on. So I'm sure there are many other things you would probably think of that you would want to add to this bag, but this is what we have decided uh, that we would need in case of an emergency. So that's everything for this week's video. I hope you liked it and that you found it helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.